Welcome to DPV. Today we're working on Clyde again. Um, we've got to finish that dual exhaust. So we've got a bunch of bends here. Got this whole exhaust kit from Summit Racing. Three inch mandrel bent system. On the last episode we uh, did a custom H pipe and put the mufflers on. So yeah it looks looks pretty sinking good. But uh, got to extend this out from uh, there over the axle oh. and then around dual tips right here. So I'm going to start sorting through the pieces. I kind of have an idea how it's going to work. Um, I'll uh, show you what I come up with. coming together quite nicely not sure if you could see what I was doing underneath there so I want to show you on the bench here real quick so I got it kind of positioned uh, under the truck the way I wanted it and then I just made some reference marks for how far the tube was going into the other exhaust tubing and then how it was oriented that way when I put it back under there it should line up the way I want it so I'm going to tack it in a few spots and then take the welder over to the truck and tack it to the mufflers. I'll end up, you know, busting those tacks loose so I can weld it all solid. Then you get this part tacked because when I was trying to hang the rest of the exhaust pipe going out the back, it kept moving on me. So get this all tacked and then we'll uh, route it behind the axle. guy an inch so hopefully yeah it's hoping to make it come out about the same level as this one once it's up all the way pretty good then I just need a little short section of tube here um, I'm hoping when that one gets rocked. Hopefully when this one gets rocked up there, this will level out a little bit. So, I think I can fix that. I should get another jack stand real quick. Let's go. So I just need a little tube to extend it out where these tips can come out together something like that I think I'll cut this guy off here and then weld 
same diameter tube this has the slip end on it that way they come out even and then I don't want this flared in on there but So it's been about a week since I touched the exhaust last because I had to go to work, but now I'm back on my week off. Seven on, seven off. Pretty rad. If you can get that schedule, you should definitely do it. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and get this exhaust all welded up. See, I got it all tacked together. So we'll get it all welded, welded solid, and then um, we'll figure out uh, what I got to do for this other tip because I was going to cut this flared in off and you know weld on some of uh, just the straight pipe that way it's all same diameter and uh, both tailpipes will be even also going to be using some of this to help keep uh, keep the welds looking nice and clean uh, when I did the H pipe um, I didn't use the, the anti spatter spray um, on that on those first welds and the all the spatter doesn't come off this aluminized very well like it does just bare steel so um, but when I welded the mufflers on and used this anti spatter spray it really helped so I'll link this down in the description below um, it really can help keep your welds a lot cleaner so all right let's get uh, burning some wire on this stuff Especially after I hit it with the wire wheel, it'll look real nice. So I am using flux core right now, so that's why it looks the way it does. But it's gonna be sweet. Can't wait to hear what it sounds like. All right, I'm back. I'd open the door because it was a bit smoky in here. Um, yeah, back, ready to rock, brand new roll wire. All right, got it all. Both pipes all welded up. This is uh, the other tip that I need to see what length I need to make it even with the other one. And then also, um, I want to get this guy in there first and get it level so I know where to position that one. Um, where it slips in here. So let's get this one up under the truck and uh, get it tacked to the muffler. Get it all in, in position so we can figure out what the other pipe is. like that.
it is all up in there now. So it looks pretty good. So I'll tie them together where they come close so that way they don't rattle. I'll put a little strap of metal and then I'm going to try to use the factory um, exhaust hangers where they bolt to the frame and stuff. So um, we'll do that next. But uh, I'm going to eat some lunch. First, I want to see how this thing sounds because it's got to sound good now. that's got a pretty good exhaust note I'm pretty happy with that so I'm gonna go eat some lunch and then we will work on those exhaust hangers oh, lunch was amazing um, you know you guys really should tell me when I've got a whole bunch of grease on my face come on all right so it's time to work on the hangers and let's see here. there was one Right here, one right there. We'll start with that one, I think. I got the rear hanger done. Um, it's, uh, it's not great, but um, you can see in there. Uh, little, uh, it's hard to weld in there. Got a lot of rim, so and then with the flux core, it's just messy. But use the factory. Now on location there. So that's good. So um, on the front part of the exhaust, um, the factory locations, the factory hangers aren't going to work. So I went to Napa. They only had one of these. Got another one coming tomorrow. And two more muffler clamps. So the way that these work, you just uh, bolt that to the frame somewhere. And then use that U bolt uh, muffler clamp, exhaust clamp, to uh, clamp it to the exhaust. So I'll get this up under there, get one side done. And then uh, I think I'll wrap up the video there, show you the exhaust, and uh, we'll start it up one more time because I think it sounds pretty good. Oh, also got serpentine belt. Take care of that belt squeal. Um, but. I'm pretty happy with this uh, Summit Racing Universal Exhaust Kit. It worked out pretty well. So let's get this uh, last hanger on and I'll show you what the exhaust looks like. All right, there's the dual tips. Pretty good. There's the H pipe, crossover pipe right before the mufflers. Mm. That, this is where I put that hanger. And there's a factory hanger right there. And then one more hanger 
right there. And I'll end up putting another one up in here somewhere um, once I get it. But pretty cool. So we should probably listen to it one more time. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, driving around, it's nice and mellow in the cab, which is great. So, actually have a conversation. Um, after hearing these mufflers, I think I'm gonna go something a little more aggressive on the ghetto glider. Um, but this is perfect for a tow rig. You don't wanna be towing a thousand miles somewhere to like Moab and just have, you know, just be drowned out by the exhaust noise. But it's it sounds good, sounds healthy. So, all right, well, on the next Clyde episode, um, it's gonna be a big one. We're gonna be tearing into that front suspension. We gotta replace all the bushings, um, ball joints, all that kind of stuff to tighten it up. Um, so I'll probably split it into two episodes, um, one on the teardown and then one putting it back together. Um, but we'll, we'll see how the week goes. Uh, if you want to support the channel, we've got uh, merch on Teespring, a uh, bunch of different t-shirt designs. So go grab yourself a t-shirt, uh, helps the channel out. You can become a Patreon, so I got a link to the Patreon account in the description below. You can buy a bunch of the different tools that we use here on the channel on Amazon via the links in the description below. That all helps support the channel as well. And then, you know, lastly, just make sure you're liking and sharing these videos. We're getting super close to a thousand. It's gonna happen. I'm pretty excited. So thank you so much for watching this video. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.